Okay, when you open Google Sheets, what it's kind of weird because you log in because this is your own personal copy. So when you log back in, you'll see things that you did last time are saved. So don't, you know, freak out if somebody's looks different than yours. And also be sure and notice these little tabs on the bottom because that's going to be very important. Now, what's cool is this is kind of, it's, it's Excel, but they've done everything for you, which is, hey, we like that, right? So let's say I go into Module 2 Homework, and it asks me to find the five-number summary for the data shown. Well, I don't know what the five-number summary is. Oh, yeah, I read. Did you read your, did you, no. I, so I know it wants the minimum, quartile one, the median, quartile three, and the maximum. So I could do that, right? There's not that many numbers, but I'm way too lazy for that. So what I do is check this out. It would be nice if they actually would have put this all in one column, but they didn't, ain't no thing. So I highlight these and I copy and I come over here and I paste them. And then this other second column here, I cut and I put right chair and you you an extra pro, extra problem an extra value ooh I didn't you, did you see that I didn't even copy it right all right so I just look over here to make sure the numbers are right I mean you could sit there and you could type them in manually but ain't nobody got time for that right so I I just chose to do, do that now I don't know if you noticed when I put these numbers in here things changed over here like watch all this business over here if I change this say to a 75 Notice how everything changed. Ain't that cool? Ain't that cool? So if I put the nine back, well, it says the minimum is nine. Our uh, quartile one is 41. The median, the middle value, 73. Quartile three, you know what that is? You're up to 75% of your data. So quartile three, 76. Get the definitions down. And then somewhere in that madness is the maximum. And I click submit. And bam, look at there. You learn to use Google Sheets. You're going to see that they'll do a lot for you. Um, you know, kind of what I would do is when you get started in Module 2 is kind of start looking around and seeing what all these different things are. They're going to be in different um, later in modules. But if you have any questions on, hey, Cindy, can this problem actually, can I use Google Sheets to do it? I'll let you know. Now, you don't have to use Google Sheets if you want to do your own nice little formulas and stuff, because that's what this is. I mean, it's kind of neat if you actually look over here on this bar, it'll show you they're using Excel. But the, the thing I wanted to tell you is on your test, you are allowed to use Google Sheets and or your own Excel. I kind of would use this because, again, this is still Excel. I could come down here and type say the average to find the mean and then highlight those numbers heads up oh we're trying to edit part of the sheet oh how rude of you right all right so give me a uh oh message but that's okay it's okay so notice this is the same answer so i kind of would just use google sheets to make your modifications um, that you want to in here, but try not to mess with these formulas. But as you're learning, click it, click on them and see what these formulas actually are. All right, so we'll just continue on with some more Google Sheet videos. And remember, if you come across a problem and you need help, send me a message.